Hello and welcome to the Run Testers. My name's Nick and this is our roundup of the best running sunglasses. Uh, over the years we've tested a wide range of sports sunnies. In this video we're essentially going to give mini reviews of a whole load of them. So while we have stuck to glasses that we rate in some way or another, we are going to talk about obviously the good and the bad points of each pair in this video. There are a few things we're looking for as musts uh, in running sunglasses. Number one being obviously UV protection and a good fit because you don't want the sunglasses sliding down your nose or bouncing around on the run. A durable design with scratch resistant lenses is also another very key feature for runners who might well if you're like me be stuffing sunglasses in a bag all the time and stuff like that and then on top of that we're looking for good value and a bit of style it doesn't go amiss either as they're both very handy extra features in a pair of sports sunglasses but then we have a few sunglasses that offer a bit more than that such as kind of built-in speakers for audio playback and even a heads-up display on one set I'm going to talk about later and when it comes to price we have glasses in this roundup that range from as cheap as like kind of 10 pounds or 15 dollars all the way up to kind of over 300 pounds or $400. So hopefully there's something to suit all budgets. All right, let's dive in with some sunglasses. Okay, so my first pick for sunglasses is the Gooder, I think they're just called Gooder sunglasses. Um, Gooder do a massive range of these. Um, they're kind of styled on Wayfarers, pretty similar to Wayfarers, sort of thing you'd expect Tom Cruise to wear in Risky Business. Uh, I've got two pairs of these, different colours, absolutely love them. They're about £30. Um, normally when I buy sunglasses I, I'm looking for a pair that I can wear all the time so I, I just wear these largely as normal sunglasses um, and use them for running as well so I absolutely love them I think they're um, just really comfy they always stay on my head when I'm running they're quite light um, the, the other thing I like about them is that because they're only like 30 pounds I'm never that worried about them I don't mind if I scratch them a bit I don't mind if I drop them don't even mind if I, I lose them really um, because I mean they're not they're not as expensive as lots of other ones out uh, that, you, that you can buy so yeah i just think they're a really solid good pair of great looking sunglasses that you can wear all the time um big fan of them and uh, some of the colors you can get are really interesting like the, i go for the most boring ones it's the black ones i've got a brown pair as well but there's like batman colorways and all these different designs that you can get and they're all around the same price i think in the us they actually have a lot more colors than the uk website does um and i'm not sure if you can get hold of those ones easily but yeah good good as shades um absolutely fantastic and they do come in different designs as well not just the wayfarer models so sunglasses and before i go into my top picks i think there's something you need to know about me the first is that this thing on the front of my face this kind of giant nose that i've got it's also been smashed all over my face whilst playing football, headbutting the back of other people's heads. So, because it's wonky and it's a big mess, I find it really hard to find sunglasses that fit nicely on my face. They sort of sit lopsided, so it restricts my selection anyway. So therefore, I've picked three sets of sunglasses that I feel they just they they work kind of they look all right on I me. Mean, I think anyway, and they fit. So, for example, these guys, I just I. I these are the Sun God shades. They're no doubt excellent running shades, but I don't feel like I can pull them off. I feel a bit silly. So I'm a little bit restricted. Anyway, with that in mind, let's get into my picks. So first up, I have got the Sun God Renegade 8KO. These are about 110 pounds in the UK. You can get various types of, of the Renegade glasses and the prices vary up from 55 pounds right up to 110. What you're getting here is something, I think that's got a little bit more of a classic kind of style frame, uh, that's, but it's kind of good for those kind of all day adventures. What I like about these is basically you've got really kind of lightweight frames. You've got these tinted kind of polarized lenses that make everything kind of sharp on the road. Still crystal clear, but very, very protective from the sun. They can also, they bend and twist a little bit and they feel pretty robust. You know, they're actually quite strong and solid in terms of sort of sunglasses. It's one of the things I tend to break and I lose them, all of those kind of things. And these kind of, I've used them a lot and they come in sort of stuck in backpacks or hanging off, they fall on the ground, all of those kind of things, and they've held up really well. I also think they've got quite a kind of wide kind of fit on my face. I've got a fairly big kind of wide old face anyway, but you know, I get good coverage for the eyes and they're, they're very, very sort of light and comfortable on the face. The only thing I will say on these is that I feel like the arms, I tend to wear them over a hat and the arms have stretched out a little bit on these and that means that there's not so much grip on the nose bridge and they do have a tendency just to slide down a little bit and I find myself having to pop them back up quite a lot when I'm running. It's not ideal and some of the other glasses on this list don't do that. But overall, they fit nice and comfortably. There's 10 different tints to these frames that you can buy. They've got full UV protection and they're also scratch resistant. They clean up fairly easily as well, which is a biggie for me because I sweat quite a lot. And these are kind of frames that I would tend to put on for when I'm going for kind of long leisurely plods. You know, if I'm gonna be out for sort of four or five hours, these are the shades that I might reach for because they're nice and light and comfortable. Uh, not when I'm moving too fast. I would look for something a little bit more kind of 
in terms of a secure fit, if I was doing something that was faster and maybe a bit more technical kind of where you're going to be bashing heels and there's going to be a bit more motion to bash them up and down, but long, flat, steady, the Sun God Renegade AKOs I think are perfect. Another more casual style from Sun God are the new Tempests, which I thought were worth flagging up. Uh, these have a kind of even bigger, kind of blockier design than things like the Renegade and their Wayfarer style, but they have all the kind of same key features in terms of you know, the grippy nose pads, the kind of arms that hold tightly but not uncomfortably and keep them in place uh, and then the great choice of lenses and frames that you get of kind of all sun god glasses uh, i've enjoyed using these of late uh, they do bounce around a little bit more than kind of you know dedicated sports sunglasses and they don't provide quite as good coverage on the side again as you will find with wraparound lenses but they are a comfortable option for runs they're kind of ones that i'd probably use more for kind of short relaxed runs um, when you know a little bit of adjustment doesn't annoy me too much whereas if I am going all out on a longer run I will want a, a firmer fitting set of glasses but again you've got that great casual style that you can then use outside the run as well you can get the 8KO lenses in there or you can opt for cheaper ones with or without polarization uh, the price is pretty good you know it starts at 65 pounds or 90 dollars and then it rises all the way up to around 120 pounds or 165 dollars if you are going for the best lenses with polarization but all in all they're another solid set of casual glasses that will sit well on the face while you're running next up we have a set of glass sunglasses from higher state uh you know a good value brand that are mainly sold from sports shoes uh, the name of these is insane it's really long after read it it's the higher state half frame interchange four run sunglasses and the four is the digit four. Uh, they're fantastic value. Like their RRP is eighty dollars or sixty pounds, but it's never you're never paying that price with any higher state stuff. It's always kind of permanently reduced, and these are fifteen dollars or ten pounds generally, something around that mark. And and what you get for that money is a really nice lightweight frame with a secure fit, and you get four different lenses in the packet. So kind of a few different options there including clear lenses and low light lenses as well as the kind of darker lenses for bright sunlight that I've got in here at the moment it's not that hard to change the lenses easy now I'm not gonna say it's completely easy it's never easy to change sunglass lenses I find but it's pretty easy um, and you know having four sets of lenses for that price makes them a very versatile good value pick uh, they may not be quite as durable and, resi and scratch resistant as, as more expensive glasses and the lenses you know don't offer that fantastic contrast you might find on sets from uh, top brands but in terms of getting the job done, you really can't argue with these sunglasses, especially at their very low price. So these are the Oakley Plasma sunglasses. It's Plasma with a Z. Uh, these are the glasses I use the most because I have them in a prescription model uh, and I normally wear you know, glasses in everyday life. So they're very handy for me. They're photochromic lenses. I can use them all year round. I've used them actually in the dark as well as you know in the rain, use them in the rain just today. So they're very convenient. Really nice fitting glasses that have quite a full frame, good coverage in terms of protection from sun from all sides and you know very solid nose pads that do a great job of stopping them slipping around either when it's wet outside or when you're really sweaty. The design is obviously a little bit kind of divisive I guess it's fair to say I quite like it and I use them more or less for everything uh, so you know not just running but all my other kind of sporting activities driving walking around in the sun so yeah they're very handy if you'd like the style you can use them for more or less everything and not so aggressively sporty uh, which is great and you also have a lot of different kind of lens and frame color options on the Oakley website if you're not going for the kind of clear to black photochromic option for prescription lenses so they're fairly expensive they're $169 in the US and £142 in the UK for kind of the base model and that jumps quite a lot if you start adding in things like prescriptions or photochromic lenses but yeah they're really Really solid all-rounder set of glasses that I use for running you know daily and they're great. Next up I have the Karun Kona. Now these are a slightly different design and fit. They're a bit more wrapping. Now these are designed in Patagonia but they're made in Italy and they're made using regenerated ocean plastic. So they've got one eye on kind of being a performance set of sunglasses but also one eye on doing good for the planet. I love the fit. They've got a really nice kind of wide kind of nose bridge and that sits really nicely even on my sort of wonky nose. Uh, my big, wide, broken, wonky nose. And that is a very happy thing. The arms fit nicely over the cap. They don't kind of stretch and they haven't had that thing where they kind of start to slide down. They're really light on the face. Uh, the tinting is really nice. It does take the kind of light down a notch or two. It's like looking through kind of smoky lenses on these ones. But still good visibility. They're polarized lenses, so they're still really good and sharp as well. And that extra kind of wrap around the edge does offer a little bit of extra protection from the light coming in sideways, which I really like. That also really helps with the overall kind of fit and security when you're running. Yeah, so you're getting 100% UVA and UVB protection. They're a really good lightweight fit. I guess the only downside is they're a little bit more expensive at 179 euros. And if you're wondering, they will ship to the UK, though you'll pay in euros for them. These are the Sun God Ultras. Uh, which, which are a very snazzy set of sunglasses, as you can see. Uh, they are $185 or £130. Uh, 
Uh, they, and I've used sunglasses glasses for a few years actually, but generally they've been cycling specific models like the Airass or you know that kind of thing with, that sit a little bit further off the face and have very expansive coverage for cycling. These fit much more closely and they have a really good secure fit uh, and they're very lightweight and flexible as you can see. So they take a fair bit of punishment and don't get broken or anything like that and they sit very well on the, on the face and you get a few different nose pads with them to try and you know, get the fit right. But the coverage is excellent in terms of blocking out sun from all sides. Uh, you get to customize the kind of, you know, the arms and the lenses that you want for the normal price of the glasses on the website uh, and you can also you know then upgrade to things like photochromic options that kind of thing the lenses are really clear um, and there's lots of customization options like i've had like mirrored blue lenses from sungod in the past and they've all been you know really impressive so all around these are fantastic sunglasses and they're really giving as good as experience as you'll get from any brand for slightly less than some of the other brands like oakley so they're a really strong option i think for runners so the second pair of Gompor are the Simalp Vision 1 sunglasses. Now these aren't specifically for running. I think they're, they're focused on any type of sport really. But um, I got these for some trail running I was doing in Croatia. Um, I don't normally like these sorts of shades. Um, I normally go for that Gouda style, which is just shades that you can wear all the time, um, whether you're running or whether you're just sat outdoors um, at the pub or something. So I, I like, uh, just normal looking shades but i do like these ones um if i if i really want a pair of shades that are lightweight um and just really conducive to running fast i really i, I tend to to pick these up i'll very rarely wear them but say i'm racing over in a really hot country and it's really sunny um i probably won't want to wear the gooders just because um they're a little bit bulkier than than these ones so if i'm doing a race maybe a marathon in a hot country i'll i'll probably opt for these just because they're so light um, and they really stay on the head really comfortably they've got these um adjustable arms on the glasses which you can modify to suit your head shape so they're very comfortable sunglasses to wear and very light the uh, nose bit i'm not sure what that's called goes over the nose uh, that's really comfortable as well it's sort of made from a very soft plastic material so it really fits nicely against the nose um, but doesn't feel like there's any pressure it's also adjustable as well so yeah great really comfortable pair of sunglasses if you really want something that's lightweight designed for speed and racing these are relatively cheap as well they sit around I think they're about 58 pounds 60 pounds which is pretty good for what you get from these sunglasses comparative sunglasses from some of the bigger brands can be a lot more expensive so well worth a look if you're looking for some race so next up I've got a little bit of a left field pick and these are £260 and that's a lot more than I would really normally want to pay for a set of running sunglasses. I tend to go sort of cheaper. As I mentioned, I break them, I lose them. You know, they just, when you're doing ultras and stuff, you, all your kit sometimes goes missing. They fall off your hat when you don't realise, when you're packing bags, all that kind of stuff. So £260 is a lot of money. But hear me out, because these sunglasses, the Roker Falcon Titanium, are sunglasses that I would probably just wear generally as a pair of sort of shades for holiday. And they're also great then if you get up off the beach and wanna go for a 10K run, which I do, I'm a restless kind of person when I'm having beach or poolside holidays. These are absolutely perfect. You can wear them there. But the real trick with these here, these patented nose and temple pads that add just loads of extra grip, which means that for a set of kind of aviator style shades that would normally wobble around, sweat and fall off, these absolutely stay locked to your face. And it's wonderful. They're super lightweight as well on the face, they're really nice. I mean, they are a bit delicate. You don't want to bash them too much, but they have got anti-fog, anti-scratch, anti-glare, polarized lenses that are a bit protected. But yeah, I wouldn't want to put them through sort of too much kind of testing when it comes to sort of the durability. But overall, if you're looking for a pair of shades that could cross over between your sort of regular sort of daily wear and then something you go and run in, I think these fit the bill really nicely. Big investment, but personally, I really like the style and I think they do a cracking job, so yeah. One maybe if you've got a little bit more cash to spend. Next up, we have the ND Colon R Sports Sunglasses. These are a small UK company, and I'd say these are probably the best value running sunglasses I've come across in all my testing. They have a lovely design that sits very close to the face, really gives good close coverage around the cheeks, a really lightweight frame, absolutely no bouncing over any distance in any heat. And they come with a huge range of lens options on the website. So the very cheapest build you can get, I think is 40 pounds. And for that, you're gonna get a great set of running sunglasses, no doubt, but you can upgrade to, in particular, they have a, this lens called the Ultimate Reactor Light Lens, which 
they're photochromic lenses with the yellow tint. They work in basically all conditions, inside and out, and you can get them in prescription models as well. And uh, although the price rises quite steeply from £40 for those glasses, they're a fantastic option for runners who just want to get one set of sunglasses and forget about it forever, and they're still going to come in a fair bit cheaper than other prescription sunglasses. I will say for re relatively cheap uh, sunglasses, they're really hardy. Like I've not managed to put any kind of mark or dent on these uh, despite using them regularly for a couple of years. Uh, and that's not always the case with good value sunglasses. So I think all around they're one worth checking out if you're in the UK, I'm not sure about shipping to the US or anything like that, but yeah, really good cheap glasses at the NDR sports sunglasses. These are the Izzy Pizzy. I'm not entirely sure if that's how you pronounce it, um, Speeds. And these are from a brand that is more closely associated with sort of fashion shades, but this is their multi-sport glasses. And I quite like these because they, offers some of the qualities that you get from the more um, sport looking glasses like Oakley and things like that, but without being overly sporty. So these sort of, sort of like a modern fashion glasses, um, but they have that wraparound effect, which means that protects you from the wind, but also um, protects you from branches and stuff if you're running into them on the trails. So I think they're just a really nice pair of glasses. They're 60 pounds. They come in three different lens types for different light conditions, depending on where you're going or where you live. Um, but they're very comfortable, uh, they stay to the head very nicely, um, they're not too big like some of the uh, sports glasses that you can find which I'm very uh, unlikely to wear just because they don't look very subtle and I like a pair of sort of glasses. Um, so yeah, I just think they're a very good quality pair of glasses that have a nice style to them and are very comfortable. Well worth a look if you like a bit of style but also want really sport focused glasses as well. Now my final pick, and one that I think is probably my top pick, just based on the fact that I think it's really good value for money. I think they, are, they do a brilliant job. They're 30 pounds, and these are the Tifosi Swick glasses. They're, they're just, they're a bit like the sun gods. They're a little bit narrow. I think they fit my face a little bit better. But they're light, they've got polarized lenses. You know, for 30 pound, they're pretty solid and durable. Uh, they do a good job. There's a load of different sort of ranges of kind of tints and different styles that you can get. They've got that kind of sun god feel, but at such a good price, it doesn't really matter too much with this kind of stuff. If you lose them, which inevitably you will, there's a little bit more kind of protection from that sort of point of view. I've run long, long miles in these, and they're actually the sunglasses that I'm going to choose to take on my attempt to run the Danube from sea to source. So a run that's 2000 miles over 70 days, where I know that I need a pair of sunglasses that might get lost. They might take a lot of knocks there, but they're super comfortable on the face and offer me protection in what is gonna be some really, really kind of brutal sunny conditions out in Eastern Europe, where it's gonna hit kind of maybe 35 degrees plus some days. So yeah, they get a big thumbs up for me. 30 pounds, Tifosi Swick. Uh, check those out. I think they're a really good kind of bargain set of sunglasses that for most of us, they would do a fantastic job. All right, next we have the Oakley RE Sub-Zero sunglasses. I talked about these recently in our monthly roundup. They're obviously something that you're gonna to need to like the look of to buy it, because uh, not only do they make you look like a bug, which I think is a big plus, but they're also very, very expensive. They cost 201 pounds in the UK or 246 dollars in the US. They are a kind of a throwback to Oakley's old Sub-Zero glasses that were even more angular and bug-like um, for a few decades ago. And they've brought them back in this really lightweight form. These weigh in at 24 grams. They offer fantastic coverage from all sides. They sit very nicely on the face. I will say in terms of the nose fit, it's worth playing around with the nose pads you get with it to get the most secure one because the first one I used did start to slide down my nose a little bit when I was sweaty, but now I've played with that, the fit is very, very good. And yeah, I think if you've got the money and you like the style there, they certainly deliver in terms of performance and they're quite fun and look pretty uh, impressive in my opinion. You also get choice of the prism lenses from Oakley, um, which are fantastic. Like these are the blue ones, the red prism lenses are really good on trail running I found in terms of helping you pick out things like you know, stray roots and rocks on the path ahead of you. But in general, all the prism lenses, I think, are really great for running and you can pop a set of them in this, uh, you know, outlandish frame. Obviously, this look won't be for everyone and you can get the prism lenses in several other Oakley sets. I think another really good set of running sunglasses they make is the Radar range. If you, all the Radar sunglasses are pretty great for running and you can pick them, some of those prism lenses and pop them in a slightly more normal looking frame rather than going for you know, the bug look if you're not into that. My final pick is the Higher State full frame run glasses. Now, these are just ridiculously cheap. They're $6.99 um, from Sports Shoes. They do say that they're knocked down from $39.99, but I've never seen them at full price. Uh, and they're just really a solid pair of sunglasses for $6.99. I really like these. They're nice and comfortable. They stay on my head when I'm wearing them. 
they're not the most attractive sunglasses in the world, but they're absolutely fine. Um, and I think they do a great job. They're, um, if you just want a really cheap pair of sunglasses that you're not bothered about breaking or losing or scuffing the lenses off, they're absolutely perfect. So yeah, not a great deal to say about these, apart from the fact that they're just great value for $6.99 and well worth picking up if you just want a cheap pair of sunglasses. Next, we have something a little bit different. These are the Bose Frames Tempo. These are sports sunglasses with built-in speakers on either side. You can see those massive chunky blocks on each side there. They're very expensive. They're £239.95 in the UK or $249 in the US. But you know, you're getting a pair of sports sunglasses with Bose kind of speakers built in. That's a, you know, that might be considered quite a good deal, although you can get very good sports sunnies and very good sports headphones combined for a little bit less than these. But I will say that they, do the job surprisingly well. I thought the sound was going to be really poor, really weak, but actually the audio is impressively high quality, I'd say, and it's loud enough to hear even on very windy days or running by busy roads. Uh, you get kind of controls on the side here, which also work quite well. And the actual sunglasses sit really well on the face. You know, they are a bit bigger and a bit heavier than a lot of running sunglasses, but I never actually found them annoying or anything like that. Use them for track sessions, races, and they didn't feel too big or bulky or, you know, just, just annoying, I guess, <laughs> on the run. They always felt fine. Also, you know, it does solve the, uh, the classic runner conundrum of how do I listen to my audio while still being aware of my surroundings. The, obviously, your ears are completely open with these, and that makes them a good pick for races as well. Where you're not allowed to use sports headphones. You need to keep your ears clear to hear Marshall's instructions, that kind of thing. So, yeah, like I say they're a fairly niche product, um, and, you know, I do think you'll get better value even if you are shopping for glasses and headphones separately but if they do fit your niche they do the job very well I think they you know they outperformed my expectations for what you get in terms of audio quality and also kind of comfort and fit from the sunglasses one more set of Oakleys that I was keen to flag up uh, which I think are the best all-round option for runners who don't need prescription lenses are the EV Zero blades as you can see, they have an entirely frameless design, which makes them very light and comfortable for wear long periods. Even the arms are very thin and lightweight, even compared to something like the uh, Oakley Radar EV Path glasses. These are just stripped back version of those. They sit beautifully on the face. I wore them for 20 miles just yesterday. Really comfortable, no bouncing around, even when pounding down hills. Um, lovely kind of wrap around. That means you're not getting sun from any angle isn't going to get to your eyes and again it helps protect me from pollen in this very hay fever high season which is very good news for me get the choice of lenses in there but they aren't interchangeable lenses so if you do want something like the radar ev path you can swap the lenses in and out whereas with this frameless design you've kind of got to pick the one that yeah you want and then stick with that this is the prism road lens it provides a really nice amount of kind of sun blocking while still like highlighting certain aspects of the road and kind of view ahead of you it's um, a really good lens all the prism lenses like i say are very good they come a little bit cheaper than a lot of local I think partly because you can't interchange lenses. These are £152 or $189. Like I say, I think they're my favourite Oakley glasses for running at, at the moment. Like the Sub Zeros are great, but they're very expensive and a bit outlandish. The radars are good, but I do prefer the rimless design you get here um, uh, just because it is that little bit more lightweight and kind of doesn't restrict views at all whilst you still get full coverage from the sun and the elements in general. Another great set of value sunglasses are the Tifosi Swank. Uh, and Tifosi in general offers really good value sunglasses. A lot of them have this kind of more casual style like this. That means you can wear them outside running as well. They also do offer prescription models. I think that's mainly in the US. I'm not sure if that's available anywhere else at the moment. Uh, the Tifosi Swank are $25 or 30 pounds. Very cheap glasses with a casual style. So you don't get you know quite as good coverage on the sides of the face and that kind of thing, but they do sit really well, really tightly and securely in place on runs of any length. I found they've got this kind of slightly grippy material on the arms and around the nose pads. That means that even if you're really sweaty, they just don't budge. You also have a massive range of styles with kind of each individual style within the Fosi range. So if you do want the swank, there's like all manner of different lens and frame colors you can choose from. Uh, only small caveat with these is they are quite cheap. They're not the hardiest sunglasses I've come across. I've marked the lenses in a few places already just by kind of popping them in and out of bag pockets or you know, throwing them down after a run. You know, you, you can treat them better than I treat my glasses. That would probably be the smart thing to do in general. But yeah, I think I don't haven't really marked any other glasses and I did put a couple of scratches on these quite quickly. So that's something to take into account. You know, they are good value, but they might be a little bit less durable than some other options. These are the most expensive set of sunglasses uh, in this roundup. This is the Engo Eyewear, and the reason they're so expensive is because they have a heads-up display, which is powered by all this tech around the nose piece there. Uh, they are 395 euros, which will convert, you know, at different times, different amounts, but you're looking at kind of about 420, 430 dollars, or 330, 350 quid, uh, which is a lot of money uh, for a heads-up display. And there's a fairly good argument to be made, and I was someone who would make it, that you do not need a heads-up display while running, because doing that, 
not that big a deal, is it? But obviously they're designed for cycling as well, and it's probably, and it is much more useful, I imagine, in cycling. Essentially, the display sits kind of in the top corner of your above your right eye and it's not really in your direct eye line so you don't it's not annoying if you're on the run it's not always in the way you just kind of glance up and see your stats quite easily i think they are pitched slightly more at cyclists because the range of running stats there isn't huge uh, when i was testing them out like you can have lap pace for example which is a consistent bugbear of mine I, run, I, I always run using lap pace so it wasn't there it's quite an interesting idea and it has been delivered reasonably well with these glasses you know they connect to your phone to track all your kind of stats on the run then put them on this little screen that shows kind of three stats at once and if you are you know someone who doesn't like using a watch or is absolutely sick of turning and looking down at their wrist then this will be a good option like and i do think there are times when you know it is safer to be able to have your heads up display if you're doing a lot of treacherous trails and doing downhills or that kind of thing it's it's slightly easier just to glance at heads-up display than look at your watch. There are certainly cases where it might be quite useful. I think also is, you know, obviously they're very expensive and this is just so much stuff on the run. So like when you put them on, it's very noticeable and there are kind of little bits of tech in the corner of your eye that are a little bit annoying and they end up being slightly bulkier around the nose than any other running sunglasses I've used, obviously. But in general, they are still quite lightweight and the frames sit nicely on the face. But yeah, unless you're really, really invested in having that display, you don't want all this stuff on your running sunglasses, I'd say. So that's it guys, that is our kind of whip through of a whole load of running sunglasses we've tested and like in some way or another. Please let us know what you think in the comments and recommend loads more running sunglasses, especially at the kind of value end of things. We're always keen to hear about good value picks. Like when we did our running belts roundup, you guys came in with loads of great suggestions for running belts that we've been testing since and really liking using. So please do, yeah, hit us up with more suggestions for running sunglasses to test. Hopefully there's something there that you found useful. Um, please like, subscribe, ring the little bell so you're notified when we do our next video. And that's it, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.